What's um, the difference between the journey with this GLP-1, Ozempic? GLP-1, right. Uh, this GLP-1 versus every other time you tried to lose weight. Uh, I, I needed the help. I realized I needed the help. Um, I didn't have the help. I didn't have the mindset. So I feel like Ozempic got me in a place where I could turn my life around. I could start eating better. I could monitor it. I wasn't as hungry. I have a personal trainer now, so I'm doing everything because I have to live. This is the act two of my life. Can I interrupt you for a second? Because you said, you know, I, I needed help with the mindset. And I want clarification from the doctors here about the difference between mindset and willpower. Because one of the things that I've been so sh ashamed, shamed myself about, and was shamed in the tabloids every week about uh, for 25 years is not having the willpower. And I think, you know, that is, uh, th there is a distinction between mindset, which we're now hearing the brain tells you a certain thing about how you process food versus the willpower. Can we talk about that? Absolutely. It's hurt to see you ostracized in the way that you've been. Because this isn't about willpower. Thank you, you guys, for saying that. I, mean, I have talked about those pathways. So shame right? every single week. And it's not, it's, not, it's not your fault. In those pathways, you guys may not remember any of the words I said, but did willpower come out of my mouth? Willpower did not, because it's not in the pathways, you guys. It's just not in the science of this disease. This isn't me just making people feel good about it not being a willpower issue. It literally is not part of that regulation, those pathways. Mm -hmm. It's how our bodies regulate weight. And each of us is different. Each of us is unique. Not one is superior to another. We're just different. And acting on those differences and treating the differences in the heterogeneity of the population is how we're going to actually make change as this, in this disease. Not only here in the U.S., this is the number one prevalent chronic disease in the entire world. This can is I, not can just I add something about mindset, Absolutely. too? Yeah. Part of mindset is how are we feeling about ourselves as human beings and how are we talking to ourselves? And I think this conversation around blame and shame, you know, when we eat too much, if you're beating yourself up and saying, oh, I'm a horrible person, that's not going to help. Shaming does not help treat this disease. Well, we, well, we know that, but yeah. this is a world that has shamed people for being overweight forever, you know, and all of us who've lived it know that people just, people treat you differently. They just do. And I am Oprah Winfrey, and I know that all that comes with that, but I get treated differently if I'm 200 plus pounds versus under 200 yeah, pounds. And I'm I just so get sorry treated differently. You had to deal with when that. I walk into a store, it's that thing where people are like, let me show you the gloves. Would you like to look at the handbags? Because we know that there's nothing in here for you. I mean, there is a condescension, there is a, there's a stigma. A stigma. Yeah. There's a stigma. There's a stigma.